What is it, Thaddeus? Sorry, sir, I, I wasn't dawdling. You were watching those ladies. What were you thinking? Nothing, sir. I... Only it came into my mind that... No. Yes. Yes, yes. Go on. Miss Paradise Pink. The prettiest lady wearing one of our flowers might be given a prize and declared as... Miss Paradise Pink. To celebrate a lady's loveliness. What woman wouldn't want it? They would bring them into the store just to see who else is here, who else believes they might win. The whole store buzzing with beautiful women, each trying to be more glittering than the rest. How clever, Denise. What a wonderful idea. We must do it. Mr. Murray, sir, you cannot. I mean, I would be grateful if you did not tell Miss Audrey that this was my idea. Ah, yes. Well, I can see why she might find your presence rather alarming, Denise. Leave it with me. And thank you. My loyalty to you is assured. It was on the floor of your office, sir. Miss Glendening almost discovered it. May I suggest you destroy it? If you'll excuse me. Denise! Why so forlorn? The paradise isn't the paradise without Sam as counter, sir. Sometimes it's enough to survive another day. Yes, sir. You learn, Denise. If we bend a little, then we do not break. But, Mr. Marie, if Sam's innocent... With someone like Lord Glendening, it is as well not to tell him he is wrong, no matter how much we believe in Sam. Some people, let's call them our betters, if we want them to come into the store, we must practice the art of letting them believe they are the masters of every situation. Whilst we seek more subtle ways to win the day. Where I come from, we call it plain canny. <laughs> yes. It is best not to let them know what we're thinking. Especially what we think of them. is a place for all things beautiful. We should be proud to display your picture, madam, and name you Miss Paradise Pink.